Welcome back, everyone, to Red Dusk. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover, in which we are playing courses of the Republic of South Africa. Last time, we had a five-way, four-way civil war, and we're really making sure that we are uh, we're doing all right. But we've just improved the logistics system. Without supplies and stable logistics, even our bravest men capable of fighting won't be able to defend our homeland. Therefore, we must improve our rail system and build new supply hubs throughout our lands. Improve division organization. Our troops are notoriously unorganized and utterly inefficient in combat. To rid ourselves of these in issues, we we'll provide new equipment and better organization apparatus. And we're also sending volunteers to the anti-communist forces in Southeast Asia because we can. But we have quality over quantity. There is no point in having a large army if it consists of undisciplined and incompetent people. Our whole country suffers from this overstretched army. We'll have to target, make targeted investments and improve the quality of specific units instead of constantly creating new divisions. And then home of African democracy. Sure. Our army is more powerful than ever. We're the first nation to have a powerful military in Africa. All this is thanks to the average of our president and government. Our army is known for its glory and for defending our homeland, our people, democracy, and individual freedom. Yeah, totally. Our country will be called the home of democracy in Africa. Let long live our great president and his administration, so we get better political power, organization, weekly stability, war support, division attack, division defense, and we can edit our units, which I think is fantastic. And we replace quality over quantity with even more political power. So that'd be great. Yeah, so sorry, I already speak really, really fast. But uh, yeah, we're here, hanging out, having a good old time in Cambodia. Well, I don't know if I'm having a great time, but we're having a time. Um, as we continue to try and improve what we have here and whatnot, so. Actually, we can really win there. I don't think the anti-communist forces will actually win here, but you know, it is what it is. But we're here to get more experience. That's really why we're here. It takes forever for us to get more organization back too, so it is what it is. I put you at the bottom. They don't change anything really for us right now, but that's all right. Um, oh, uh, there you go. Just a war mode. That's fine. Can you actually win here now? Oh, okay. Wait for these guys to do something here. Right. Uh, if you want to help defend, that's fine. I'm good with that. I don't mind helping the attack, but yeah. Uh, oh, actually, it's, it's, it's only turning around, actually. Laos was actually much further in Thailand, and we're actually look like we're doing okay for now. Uh, you might actually be able to help here, maybe. I want to become look, look at Daniel Noble becoming much better in everything we have here. So overall, it's a very positive thing. But there goes Libya and whatnot, as we have better uh, better soldiers. And uh, like we said earlier, home of African democracy, you know, as a paternal or I guess authoritarian democratic nation. We love democracy. It's in our name. We're Democrats. Just like the Libertarian Democrats. That's still losing power. Oh, actually, no, we're gaining power again. Look at that. We're going to dip exports for now, which is fine. We're not making any political power, unfortunately. Really not making any political power. Inauguration. Inauguration. Oh. So, oh well. Um, so after that, we could encourage tourism, but I don't want to lose any more political power. Expand safari businesses, which would be cool, but you can lose that too. Current days are zero. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe we'll do this anyways. We're going to lose political power, get a research slot, but eventually we can get safari activities, which is cool. Decrease the percentage of tourists in South Africa and develop our ter tertiary system. The government has said to encourage tourist industries through advertisements and newspapers, TVs, or by radio. If the plan is effective, we'll have more revenue, more hotels, and tourist activities will be built, and overall, the economy will benefit. We can also invest in farming. Support the agricultural sector. We not only have to improve it technologically, but also support it financially through investments. Therefore, the government has said to invest in livestock to guarantee a basic production of food or even more than we need. Agriculture decisions. Yeah, I'll before doing any of that stuff, that's fine. I want the research slot though. That's going to be key, very key. What we need. You actually might be able to win here too. But happy December, everybody. Hey, Stung Thren. Yeah, you guys are actually on the offensive, so you actually might win here still. No guarantee. The Iraq wins against Syria. Seems pretty normal at this point. Even getting there across the river already. That'd be great. Yay. Encourage tourism. Hey, we can actually edit templates. Thank God. Because uh, these guys are not strong enough. Uh, do we have any self-propelled anti-air? Self-propelled artillery. Well, we do have a little bit. Are we making any, though? Anti-air guns. No. I mean, I don't mind it. Anti-air is actually very, very strong to have. However, these guys are lacking, which I don't really like. care for these guys too much. 
Um, Light of a Tree. This is what I want to convert all my templates to. The other ones are okay. I just hate, 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 hate having these heavy inf infantry here. Especially using them in jungles sometimes. Or rivers. Or mountains. So I really don't like using these. On planes, it's great. I just don't like using them. Infantry fighting vehicles are just not my choice. I prefer just light infantry. Let the infantry deal with it. We have a little bit of artillery here. Um, what else do we need? Do we have any rocket artillery? 36, 49, self propelled? No, we have no self propelled. That's fine. Save at least that. And because we need more arty. Or just, just a little bit, but it makes up for a crap ton of soft attack. And I do not like infantry fighting vehicles. Are we making any? I wish we're making reconnaissance vehicles. Oh. Of course, these guys get this stuff first. Make you actually very strong. We need a lot of arty. Oh, Yugoslav Wars. Well, all right then. Very nice. Hey, hopefully Cambodia's gonna be gone now. Yeah. Can you actually win your two? Maybe not. Let's win somewhere where we can win. <coughs> ah, good. Keep snaking up. Defense at level 2 is pretty good too. Now let's get a little more organization first before we help out. I mean, that's quite a few divisions. We might still be able to do well, but still. Best in farming. We're just destroying our political power for now so we get long term benefits. Uh, well, at least that's the idea. New agriculture farming methods. I don't want to do this one because we lose political power for the rest of the time. Expand the transport sector. Our government is consulting with the Ministry of Transport and Economics to guarantee the infrastructure and a stable public transport system in the capital region. Those include buses, taxis, and military rail network to quickly move our supplies through. Nothing else about really any real politics. Facebook is launched. 2004. Oh, look at that. Look at these guys are cut off. Oh, yay. Well, not really. They get it got here, which sucks, but whatever. They just keep throwing more and more soldiers in. It's kind of insane, but whatever. Well, let's get some more supplies first. You're not very good on attack, whatever. More construction speed, building up our roads, yes. God dang it, Vietnam. Wow, that just destroyed our organization. Woo! So our organization is so, 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 so important. And expand safari business. A uh, great way to increase business in South Africa and to guarantee more income for economies occur to construction of new attractions for tourists. And above all, more organize more safaris. This will take place at the most important sites in South Africa. In addition to that, we'll build new zoos and wildlife parks. Oh, look at that. Improve the infrastructure. To develop our infrastructure at a basic level and to ensure an expanding transport sector, the government has decided to repair broken and deleted roads, or depleted roads. It also guarantees a growing transport sector and repaired infrastructure in exchange for a monthly sum of money to cover the costs. There's, the Soviet Union is still fighting down here. Holy cow. Saddam, do you need any help? Good old Saddam. So what are you all up to here? Can't send him anything, unfortunately. Move the ads, lose 10% more stability, but that's all right. And then, support the foundation of transport com co companies. After amending the infrastructure and increasing the usage of transport systems, both public and private, the government has decided to support small enterprises. This is done to lay the groundwork for stable 
economy and will guarantee us extra income. That's going to hurt our political power even more. We need a political power, right? can support the construction of energetic companies. One of the projects the government wanted to carry out is the construction of new energetic companies or industries, such as power plants and grids and guaranteeing enough energy for the civilian sector. We must ensure a stable connection to all energy consumers in our country. Yeah. More construction sub subway sub hub I can speak. Hub construction gets better but still Killing each other over there, which is fine. It's not our guy, so we're okay with that for now. Oh, there goes East Asian War. Yep, sounds about right. Uh, you guys get another city. That's good. Build coal factories. Uh, the opening new coal mines and power plants. We have established a working energetic system. The government has decided to build new coal refineries, which even if old-fashioned, will do their job and ensure a safe supply line uh, for our nation. Okay, we're going to this one, please go ahead. Well, that sucks. I'd like to expand ourselves, I and mean, this will be extremely good to do, but we have no political power, you know? Oh, Indian Civil War. I can't even do any of this stuff down here, so we can buy more weapons, separate stuff pressing there. You know. So, yeah. Looks like both sides are really just exhausting themselves, which is pretty normal for Y4. Still. And the crisis, if you're into this, please go ahead. You could use more stability. Um, we could liquidate our assets, but we'll probably go with a harsh fist, because that's what we had a civil war last episode, so we might as well do a harsh fist. Followed by organized crackdowns. And then police the public, probably the way to go. Political turmoil in Vietnam. How oh, great. Better support equipment. Better anti tank, yes, please. Whew. The change is going down, but why? Oh, is it civil discontent? Yeah. Seems about right. Harsh fists. I and mean, we could do talks with the public, but. It is what it is. Slow train in the Navy. I still got stuff going on in there, too. Um, but do you learn anything by doing this? Nope. Well, okay then. Uh, looks like Korea is not having a good time. As long as, well, as soon as they lose Busan, they're probably not going to do very well. Uh, okay. Organize crackdowns. Lower that. Get more weekly stability. Lower popularity support. That's fine. I, mean, I don't think there's any point in even sending it to try to send a single division over. I don't like we even have a general for this too. Wow, look at this mess. Uh, you can pretty much go anywhere and try to survive. You can actually get on the field commander, though. That's nice. Eugene Theron. We had apartheid at one point, so I don't know. What, well, I guess we let you in, too. 
Indian Revolution. Look at that. Wow. You're actually doing okay-ish. Holy crap. Look, you're in the front line, so... Just repulse all the attacks. It's okay. Is this the fastest way to defeat China by them just doing this? Hey, a bit of power is getting there, though. <gasps> Look at the North Korean soldiers. They're just so devastated from all this stuff. Human sweatshops? I love human sweatshops. And please the public. So remove disloval discontent, which removes the rest of the weekly stability loss, uh, which is good, and add public policing. More political power, which I love, 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 love. Um, yeah, actually, that's, well, that'll work out for us quite a bit, hopefully. Yeah, no stability, but what else can you do? Just get in there help out. Hope you're learning. 79%? Well, it's something. South Korean forces are probably getting aided greatly by all the NATO allies and whatnot. Like getting tons of resources or gun, not not resources, but you know, equipment, military equipment. Because, god dang, that's insane. How much equipment they've lost. The whole North Korea's out of manpower. China obviously is not, but they'll be out of equipment sooner, sooner rather than later. But then again, how's, how's South Korea doing? There's a little bit of manpower left. Hey, at least we're positive on political power now, too. Look at that. Let's go here. Oh, the Northern Alliance emerges victorious. Look at this, not one coming. Liquidate the assets, please. Yep, we need to fill up our cash reserves immediately with money. Alright. You know, we're going to hedge your bets. Um, if you don't need this, please go ahead. We're going to back the East Asia Tree Organization see what happens. Ooh, actually, you know what? Since they're here, I want you to do this first. Go in. You're going to be great. Great job, guys. I knew you could do it. This is one of the rare times you actually see, like, North Korea falling apart. Wow. And then... If anything else the crisis has shown us is that overlance in some, on a single country will lead to economic economy being left on a weak spot. Holy crap, they don't, they're absolutely insane right now. They're on a freaking tear. You, you really never know how things are going to work out. I mean, they're, they're literally making encirclements and whatnot and doing actually really well with all this. Kind of impressed, not going to lie. Unification Yugoslavia. Pyongyang. Wow. Happy March, everybody. And uh, road recovery, although it takes a long way, it'll take years to recover. We've taken the necessary steps to begin that process now. Ah, is there anything we can do here? Darn it. Buy foreign weapons, we could, but we don't need them. For the most part. You could build a nuclear warhead, but that wouldn't be economically viable. Really, why? How would we do that? Hey, at least it's level 2 now. Eugene Theron was promoted to the rank of general after a successful. Okay, wow, okay. Never mind. A successful field career leading the 10th infantry division. All right then. Expand mining operations. That would be 
Probably the best one we could do. Cape Modernization. Oh, we get more civvies, though. Um, hmm. If we do this one, we can trade more stuff away. I like that idea. Civvies are great in all, but still. Great unification. And wait it out. We've done all we can, although that's left to do is just wait for the war in Asia to finish, and they're out to reopen and fully recover. So. Yeah, actually having public p policing is not bad for us. If anything, having that, that war actually is really good for us. Oh, that's daily more daily political power, more, better monthly population, new agricultural methods. After much effort, we managed to improve and develop our agriculture system to above average level for African nations. With these reforms done, we've completed the ref reformation of the agricultural system, guaranteeing your people a stable food production and agricultural sector. That's right. And then we're going to do Cape Modernization. Yep. We're looking pretty good right now. Not too bad. Nice. I like this. Even though we had a, we had a crisis, because of how harsh we've been, we, we've actually gained a lot from it. Better ideology drift defense, better resistance to... Uh, Decaying speed, better less damage to garrisons, more daily political power. That was actually we came out of this better than I thought we would. So <coughs> it's great. I don't want to do this one yet. We'll build some coal factories. What's not to love? Found Exaro mining, more construction speed, production phase, but less military factory construction speed. Or it's worth the Anglo-American Coal Foundation. Where we lose political power, get more stability, get way more construction speed. Lose military factory construction. I think I'll do this one. We founded the XRO Mining Company to achieve economic independence in the export sector over the next few years. This company will provide us with the revenue from exporting rare minerals such as diamonds or gold. They also supply coal for our industrial sector. But if you want to about this one, please go ahead. Now, I was trying to improve relations with all of them, but they don't really support us. The Americans don't care for us too much anymore, and neither does, uh, you know, the former British royalty. So, you know what? We'll do everything ourselves if we have to. It's fine. We can be resourceful. We could really use some aluminum, though. Oof. Export rare minerals. And we want our uh, profits to increase. Uh, because of this, the government uh, has decided to support the export of rare materials such as diamonds, gold, rubies, and others. Those are essential for creating jewelry and thus for the wealth of our people. In consequence, since our soil is rich in minerals and rare metals of this kind, the government is doing everything to increase said exports to ensure more revenue and guarantee a stable economy. That'd be great. And eventually a new great industrial era. That's right. Finally, after months of improving and investing, the government managed to complete the economic reforms in the best way possible. Let's pave the way for South Africa to, to a new great industrial era. Thanks to the choices made by the government, South Africa has succeeded in developing the industrial system in the best manner possible under the current circumstances, making one of the dominant economies in all of Africa. Glory to the Republic. Five civvies. A new industrial era. Uh, we lose consumer goods factors, which sucks. More stability is good. You get a research slot. Construction speed. Production efficiency cap. Growth and research speed. It's not bad. I wish we could get more involved. I wish there's more political things happening here in South Africa, but the mod is still being developed and whatnot, and different routes it will take. Global economy, of course. Nice. Good stuff. At least and cities, yes. Not bad. Vladimir. Limited liberalization. Made in the USSR. Oh wait, we're still in Iraq. I completely forgot about that. Out of sight, out of mind, right? There you go. Let this division move first. And they just died. Joke, guys. I just want you to beat up people right now. They keep attacking us, but we're just too well organized. And I think that opened up a lot of holes in their front line. Yeah, it did. Nice.
Hurts our political power a lot. Whatever. What else can you do? Nice, I got rid of those guys too. Great. There's quite a few divisions here. I'm not sure if we can do very much about it. If anything, you just combine those divisions together. I mean, it's really bad anyway, so you might as well. Give me an organizer. Yeah. Hopefully. There you go, nice. Happy December, everybody. Ah, competition of Iran. Vietnamese of war. Black gold and black sand. Saddam proclaims greater Iraq. Ah, culture for free Vietnam. Versus anarchists. We don't like liberals. But I've got nothing else to do here, so. Coalition victory in Vietnam. Look at that. Good job, Vietnam. We had a bunch of anarchy in the south, so it didn't even matter. Huang Min Chin. Uh, well. Did I lose a tank division? Oh, maybe I did. That's not good. Invades. Oh, crap. That's seriously not good. Uh. Well, it's a freaking mess, isn't it? gonna happen. Have they not been able to take a piece of towel yet? Uh-huh. Well then. They're looking pretty good overall, so. Oh, did someone get bombed here? Look at that. We like to see. Taliban take over of Afghanistan, that's pretty normal. Oh. Saudi Arabia and her allies? United Arab Republics? And greater Iraq. That's fine. Uh, they cracked a little bit here. NATO intervenes. Yeah, there goes Poland. But our story South Africa is pretty much over at this point. I guess we've become a nuclear power if we wanted to someday, but we don't have the research for it and stuff. So, yeah. oh yeah, exporting jewels. That's pretty nice too. But I think right there, we've done everything that we can. Um, I wish the story was a little more developed, especially in the political sphere, as to see what would happen after the four-way civil war and the whole both the declaric situation and just seeing what would happen. But regardless, we're still having a good old time. If you enjoyed the campaign, though, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow.
another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great South African rest of your day.